Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nicole and I post videos about everything lifestyle, basically anything that's going on in my life, whether that be shopping hauls, traveling, days out with the kids, just being at home, anything. You can find that on my channel. So today I'm coming at you with messy hair, straight up. I mean, you might not think it's that messy, but just blow dried it and it's feeling a little bit frizzy because I need to curl it. So I thought whilst I'm curling my hair, I would do a bit of a catch up with you all and we can just talk some updates and you can get a bit of a hair tutorial out of it as well. So let's, let's get going with this. Um, I was going to share with you as well my up-to-date skincare, what I've been using, um, because I've had, like the last three years, as you know, if you've been with me for a bit, I've had really bad health, um, and I've just been loaded on so many medications off the doctor, because that's all they pretty much do, um, is just load you on medications. So I'm off all my pain meds at the minute, because... I just wanted to have a cleanse from them and not be on the pain medication because um, I didn't feel like it was helping. I was still in so much pain all the time. And surprisingly enough, when I came off the pain medication, the pain reduced. What is that all about? But all the different kinds of medications I've been on over the last three and a half years have caused my body to malfunction somewhat. So I have had really bad skin i have had really bad hair loss Ooh. and i have had a lot of weight gain the medication i was on amitriptyline last year and that just made me pile the weight on last year even if I, there was days where i weren't even eating i went for like three days where i barely ate a thing i was pretty much starving myself and still putting weight on um i was just doing everything i could so I was getting really upset about it because I couldn't exercise like I wanted to because of the pain. Um, so yeah, but I've got a new physio now. I've found out some more of my injuries so I can treat them and my pain is in a really good space. Like I'm not pain free. I do have to manage and live with my pain every single day, but I'm getting by, I'm exercising, I'm managing to do exercises. And this physio has told me to to prioritise exercising where, whereas the pain clinic and other physios have told me to not do exercising. So that was a bit different and I am feeling a lot better for it. So hair related wise, so I did lose a lot of hair. My hair was like doubly as thick as it is now um, and it is growing back. So can you see here? this bit here all around the bottom fell out and i've got this like in between layers as well and then round the front um it's all growing back here which is great so what i've been using to aid my hair growth journey this year i've been using hair burst shampoo and conditioner like every time i wash my hair i've been having these hair burst chewables every day since since Christmas time I've been taking those and then I've also been using let me grab it Ow. um this hair burst elixir so it's pretty much been a hair burst all rounder and then I've got it somewhere my rosemary oil so I've also been oiling my hair as well and massaging my scalp with my scalp massager which I think everything combined has just been helping aid that hair growth journey so that is amazing. So I'm really happy with with how that is going. I do wish it would grow a bit faster, but you know, it is what it is. And we are happy for positive progress. So I'm not even talking you through what I'm doing with my hair, am I? I'm just talking you about how I'm growing my hair. So one, this is my left side, obviously. And with this, what I do is I put the straighteners this way down, clamp the hair, flip the straighteners back. I mean, you can flip them forward. And then I just run them down the hair. Do you know like you would with scissors to curl a ribbon? You've got to think of it like that. And then I just give it a bit of a flip round and the curl will form. Um, let's go with this one. So again, I'll show it from like this angle. So put it, clamp it on straight, flip it back, run it down. These straighteners are great as well. These are hair tools ones. 
If I can find some online, I'll link them. I bought these off my hairdresser. Um, and they're the only ones that will straighten and curl my hair because like GHDs and stuff just don't work. And sometimes I get a bit of a lump at the top there, so I'll just go in and straighten that off. Um, but because they've got like the rounded bit as well, they're really good for curling because with some straighteners, if it's a bit more squared, it doesn't curl very well. Um, it's taking me longer to do this whilst I'm talking to you, but normally it takes me like five minutes to do this really quick. Just get these bits at the top there, straight and smooth. But yeah, I've been also focusing on like my skincare because during this whole palaver since having the car accident and being on all this medication my skin has been really bad so I was breaking out a lot I've got really bad rosacea so I needed to like manage that and it can be quite I like if I don't have makeup on it can feel quite uncomfortable and embarrassing and so make me self-conscious um and I've always had like red patches on my face I've never had even skin tone but this just made it even worse I think the medication was making it flare up so I've been seeing a skin specialist too I've actually not been to see for a couple of months because Kieran's been working away I've not been able to go during the week because I've got the children um which is always hard to get things when you've got the children and because I work Saturdays it's hard to get appointments um so I need to book in with her and just get book, have a bit of a refresh but she gave me so many different things I can be doing with my skin to look after it so many product recommendations and at first I was thinking wow she's giving me all these product recommendations I bet they're going to be really expensive and they, they just weren't everything was pretty much under 15 pounds that she recommended me mostly under 10 pounds but I'm saying 15 pounds just to to add that buffer in there but some of the things that I have been using like swearing by for the last year is this um, the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2%. Now hyaluronic acid is great for your skin. Um, I've had the needling treatment where you needle in that hyaluronic acid. My skin just felt amazing. Um, but if you're getting a lotion or potion of some kind, you want to make sure there's a percentage showing because like she was educating me, if there's no percentage showing, it means there's nothing, there's like a tiny little amount, like not even a full percent. And the 2% one is probably one of the highest ones you will find out there. So that is great. And then again, sticking with The Ordinary, it's a great brand, really inexpensive. I was thinking when she said, oh, you can pick it up in Selfridges, or you can pick it up in Harvey Nichols. I was like, great, we're looking at like £40 minimum spend here for one thing. And it was like £10 for the moisturiser. I was like, what, £10? You've got a stall in Selfridges. This is crazy. So I hope they keep this the costs down um but this azalic acid is a necessary must like for rosacea and this 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 i cannot speak speak properly um azalic acid oh my god it's not doing it azale azalic acid suspension 10 percent i think this is probably the highest you'll get without a prescription because what i've been using in the evening is my Skin and Me. Now, Skin and Me is a brand um, that is run by dermatologists. Dermat oh my God, why can't I speak today? It's run by dermatologists and they will prescribe you the ingredients that are in there specifically to your skincare needs. So you basically fill out a, um, a questionnaire and then you'll take scan pictures of your face and they will send you a recommendation of what they think should be in it. And you can adjust it. I need to go back really and tell them that my skin's started to get a bit red again i don't know if it's the weather but it's um been flaring up more so i don't know if i need stronger i don't know if i can have stronger but this has 14 percent azelaic acid in it so that needed to be prescribed and it's got niacinamide in it four percent so i'm gonna go back to them i think for a refresh they have emailed me to say like submit a picture of my face to just see where i'm going and if there's anything that needs to be adjusted in it but it is really good um i will put a link so they give you like a friends and family code so you, i think you can get one your first one for like three pound fifty um but i'll put my code in the box below and how much you get your first one for and if you want to try it give it a try see if it works for you i will say the first three I've got lower percentages of and you might find different ingredients in until they build it up to a certain one and then you kind of stick with that so i've had that same one now for probably about six months so that's probably why it needs a refresh um like a, an update 
but yeah i've been really loving that and then obviously i'll add my eye cream and my some like my spf in the morning i will use and then i've also been using skin and me now if you have not heard of skin and me have you been living under a rock i've not heard of skin and me until like january time i think it was and probably before then because i've been seeing katie for well before christmas so it must have been at least october time and it was really cheap it was like seven pound for this moisturizer and it was amazing on my skin it was like skin food here's these green ones so i've got the light skin food as you can see there's barely any left in it and then they're just the original skin food now this one is for face and body and i would use that in the morning um this one is intense like for really dry skin but what i would do is at night time i would like have you heard of slugging where you just coat your skin in something like that some people use vaseline but i've been using that and my skin was just feeling so super soft and just incredible but it started trending on tiktok didn't it it had to because i found something that was great on my skin so did the rest of the world so Violeta, or Wellida, however you say it have put the prices up because that's what happens isn't it it's like new balance everyone starts wearing them they put them up by like 70 percent so much stupid and the quality just didn't improve on those did it but everyone started wearing new balance so new balance whacked the prices up from 35 pound to 100 pound and these have done the same they've doubled the price so they've gone from seven pound to 15 pound which i think is just ridiculous but i understand from a business point of view that they're trying to make the money whilst they can whilst it's trending but it is a bit frustrating when you were already a customer and you was using it and now you're sort of being penalized because everybody else is rushing the masses are coming but it does just show how good it is because it was on i know it was shown on this morning so that is going on i have also decided um that i'm going to just have a bit of a natural time with my like lashes and nails for a while so my eyes were getting a bit irritated with the lashes so i've decided to take them off um and then not replace them and then my nails so i have been having acrylics for 20 years more than 20 years i know it's a it was a long time i was really young when i started having them because i bit my nails Ooh. Oh, that was lucky. I don't know how that happened. Um, so I used to bite, well, I bite my nails. I bit my nails really bad as a child and I was being a bridesmaid for a wedding. So my mum's a beauty therapist. So she, she said I could have acrylic nails for this wedding. And I was like 13. Um, so we did the acrylic nails, but obviously cause I liked them so much and my nails look really nice. My mum allowed me to continue having them which in turn just made my nails worse and worse and obviously the products back then like 20 years ago are nowhere near like the products today even so they weren't the best things to be doing um but my nails would have looked a mess either way because i was biting the hell out of them so i needed them infilling the other week and i couldn't get in to get them done my mum doesn't do them anymore for me because she doesn't have time for me so i have to go somewhere else and i didn't have time um so they'd all fell off except for one and i pulled it off and it ripped half of my nail off and all the others were just horrendous and someone at work said to me like nicole why don't you do biab and i was like what is biab i've never heard of this because my nail ladies never spoke to me about it because I just go and get the same thing done all the time. Never required it or anything, so she's never liked to sell it to me. And I've never looked into it, so I've never heard of this buyer. Um, so, anyway, I said to my mum, like, mum, do you do buyer? She's like, yeah. So, can I, I was like, mum, please, can I have some buyer on? Can you, like, sort me out? Because the girls at work are like, look, I couldn't grow my nails either, but using this biab, I've been able to grow them and the nails look lovely now, like lovely natural nails. And that's what I've always wanted. I've always wanted lovely, long, natural nails. I've got two close friends who have beautiful nails and they always have always been jealous of them. Like, your nails are insane. Um, they're just so amazing. Like, how do you keep them strong? But it's because I've just damaged them so much over the years that they're a mess. So anyway, let's get to the point. Two weeks ago, 
I started my biop journey. I'm gonna document it. So each week, was it two weeks? No, it was a week. It was a week ago, last Wednesday. So a week ago, I started my biop journey and already my nails have grown like five millimeters, I would say. You can't see. So they've grown from to about there. That's how short they were. Look how short they are. And that's with the weak growth. I mean, my thumb is getting quite long. It's just gonna keep blurring on my hand, isn't it? <laughs> um, so yeah, this is my biab journey. You can see that one where it was ripped off because I waited about two weeks before having the biab. So it grew quite, that one grew quite quick actually. But they get to a point like where that line is and they start snapping because I've noticed as well with this biab, I, I do this thing where I pick where I don't even realize I'm doing it or I'll, cause I'm a bite, a nail biter. So yeah, the, it's made them really strong. They are so strong. And I reckon another two weeks, two, three weeks, they will be ready for natural nail looking polish and everything. I mean, obviously I'll probably have the biab. I'll have to keep having the biab nail polish on, but I'm just so impressed like how much they've grown already. So stay tuned in a couple of weeks, I'll, probably, I'll be showing off my nice fancy natural nails and we can kiss those acrylics goodbye. Cause that is what I've wanted like forever. Even when I was younger, that's all I ever wanted um, was to have nice nails and I just could never do it. I tried all the no, more, the no biting stuff and instead of biting I would pick. So it, it just never seemed to work. So yeah, so that's where I'm at with that. What else have we, what else has been going on that I can tell you about? So anyway, as you've noticed, I'm on the other side of my hair, doing the right side. So this is a bit different than the other side. I'm still sort of holding the thing in, the, so instead of going over like that, I'm just going under, wait a minute. So I flick my wrist like that because it's easier, put it there, flip it back and then drag it down like a Christmas ribbon. Six inch ribbon curls, honey. Oh, who could not wait for Christmas? I'm so excited for Christmas. Christmas so much. So, yeah, that's how, this is how we do it. Sorry I'm being so weird. This is just me. We just break out into song all the time over here. Um, so yeah, in, flip, dun 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 dun. There's probably hairdressers watching this now thinking, what on earth are you doing, girl? But you know, it's, it works for me. My hair gets so frizzy though, so I've just blow dried it. So I'm just gonna go over that with the straight. It's still doing a weird curl. Can you see that wavy bit? It's where it's just still a bit frizzy from the dampness, the, the, the fact that my hair just absorbs water like a camel. Um, right. So we have been having building work done on the house. I've just put a video up today actually on TikTok to show where we're up to with the progress. I will put a video on here, like a full what we've done video, but I wanted to get a bit of it, the building work done first because I was gonna separate it into two vlogs. I was gonna do like a building work vlog and then like a decorating vlog. So it's it was more of like, if even if you're not doing building work, this is what we got on with. So I wanted to separate the two. We are just on hiatus this weekend because we're waiting for an electrician to come and just put some wires and check that the wiring's right. So they're coming next weekend. And it is a bit of a slow mover because Kieran's only got one day a week to do everything and he's done so well because we, we started having it. It's been going on for two months, but like the first week was the builders come and did all the building work of like putting the garage door on and taking, putting, taking the garage door off and all the brickwork and stuff. And then the second week, so the next weekend, um, like Kieran was ripping down the roof and stuff. Um, we were clearing everything for the skip so then the skip could go. So anything that needed to get skipped. Um, so then once everything was all skipped and stuff, we started figuring out what you know, when we had it empty, what needed to get done inside. So we needed to get some pipes moved. So we had to wait on a plumber. We needed to get the floor screeded. So we had to wait on the floor screed guys. I think that was like three weeks waiting for them. So that was probably like a month's worth of the stuff there. 
so Kieran's only had like four weekends really to do stuff and on those weekends it's like one day a weekend so he's four days he's worked on it really and he's built a frame around the whole entire room and he's put two of the boards on the ceiling he has moved the rewiring round but he needs to check it's safe because he doesn't want to overload the circuit because the full electrics are in there we don't want to cause any fires um so his our friend i'll say his friend our friend um is coming next week to just have a look at that with him and make sure it's all kosher and then i'm hoping that he brings laura with him so you've met Laura plenty of times on this channel. She was on holiday with us and Ollie was on holiday with us. So Ollie will be coming. And he said he'll probably bring Laura and the kids. So that'd be nice if they can come down. Because me and the kids can do stuff with Laura and the kids whilst the boys do the work. Do the manly jobs. <laughs> I'm going to get so much hate for that. I have tried to help. I have. I did. I tried to do some DIY in the garden last week. So... We started building a house for the kids outside, not to live in, to play in. Um, but Kieran started building it last summer and then it started raining and then it never stopped raining. Then it was winter time and then he's been working away. And then whilst the weather's been nice, it's been during the week when he's not here. And when it's been nice at the weekends, he's been working on, well, it's not even been nice at the weekend, it's just rained. It's literally rained every weekend. So he's never had a chance. So on Thursday, last week, it was nice and sunny. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to do it because I, I did that whole entire panelled wall by myself. I'm a dab hand at DIY. I'm a pro now. I did it all by myself with no help apart from YouTube and TikTok videos. So anyway, I thought, I know what he's doing. I know what he needs to do. Um, I just physically have never like cut the wood and stuff before myself because with that panelling I got B&Q to do it. Cheated a little bit. But the service was them. I'm just going to take them up on their offer. So I got the saw out and I thought I'm not going to use his electric saw because that's a bit scary and I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'll use the normal handheld saw. So I was cutting the wood, chopping up the wood, doing all good. And then the kids come along messing. So I was like, whoa, whoa, one second went to put the saw down out of the way of the children so that it was safe for them and cut my arm open now you can't see it it's healing really it's healed really well actually i can't see that on there so i've cut my arm open and needed stitches so me going out there i was going to vlog it all and show you my diy excellent skills you know to just inspire all those people out there that have chronic pain issues and think that they need to be the little woman and be taken care of, or the little man, um, and be taken care of and have the other person do all the DIY or get people in to do it. I thought, I'm going to inspire the masses and do this myself. And anyway, I ended up in A&E for three hours getting my arm stitched up with the kids there on the summer holidays on the only sunny day I had off. So, word to the wise folks, don't mess with saws. But anyway, I did come back and carried on the job with the electric saw which was much easier much safer than what i was doing and i got the wood that we had left chopped up and put on the house but we ran out and because of how long i was at a and &E, I didn't have time to go to the wood shop and then it's rained since because i thought i'll do it on monday i'm not scared i'm hard i'm not put off by a slashed arm um but yeah i it just threw it down all day monday on my day off so here we are, I've just finished work today, dyed my hair, washed my hair, and here I am talking to you lovely folks. And the sun has now come out, and then the rain cloud has now come out, so it's probably going to rain and I'm not going to get outside. And it's getting late in the day anyway. We are now going to be off to my brother-in-law's house, if he's in, because it was my niece's birthday this week, so we're going to go and see her. Um, so anyway, yeah, I finished my hair, as you can see. Normally I'm really quick at that because I'm not talking, um, just get on, I just put like a vlog on from someone else who I like to watch. Do you know this comb I have had for 24 years, can you believe that that has never got lost? 24 years I've had that, because I had my hair permed, which I don't know why I did because my hair was, is curly enough anyway. And my mum bought me that to brush my hair with it. My hair feels like it looks a lot longer now it's curled than it did when it was straight. That's weird. So anyway, that's how I do my hair. I'm going to have had 
since when was there a h in that word add no that's dry shampoo where's my hair just some hairspray i just used this one it's a schwarzkopf keratin hairspray nothing special about it it was probably the cheapest one there or maybe not maybe not the cheapest maybe like a mid-range one i didn't feel like i was being too cheap and buying a rubbish one um, so that is that done i am dressed in a black dress today i'm gonna go and put my isabel moran belt on it's like a tan one and i'm just gonna before i go because i'm ready now so the get ready with me part is done i wanted to just do a little opening with i've just ordered now i've never really bought vintage before because i don't really know what i'm doing to be honest and well i have bought vintage and it came and it was not what was advertised and i tried to liaise with vestiaire collective who i purchased through they were not helpful at all um in this situation so it did put me off a little bit buying um vintage because i want to be more sustainable in my fashion i want to try and wear like more capsule style wardrobes and I, do, I know I do shop at places like Shein and Primark, but that is purely for like cost reasons. But what I want to do is start investing in pieces that I have that are from there that end up getting thrown away, but getting more like better quality materials. It doesn't have to be branded or anything like that, but I want to start investing in more quality pieces. And if that means buying vintage, then I'm happy to do that. So I come across this website called Susan Kaplan who does the jewel, vintage jewellery so vintage means this makes me so sad this makes me really hurt inside vintage means anything that is older than 20 years ago which means i am vintage now that makes me so sad so vintage used to be the 80s and 70s now it's 2000s what so i got these from susan kaplan and i'm really excited to see them because they are so beautiful these earrings look so gorgeous on the website. So these are pearl earrings with, I will link them below. But oh, can you see those? Can you see it? I can't get it to focus. Why won't it focus on the earring? Are we seeing that? No, I'm going to, I'm going to just clean them real quick. So the earrings are 1980s vintage faux pearl floral earrings. Um, I'm liking that they're 80s as well because I was born in the 80s. Um, so here they are in my ears. You can see them a bit better there. Oh my God, I am in love with those earrings. I love them so much. Oh, I'm so happy with that purchase. That is like such a statement like if i had my hair back a little bit as well you can just see them oh my god i love them like i really want to get in i've not really been fussed about jewelry for so long and then i've lost my wedding rings which i'm so upset about and it's just made me think like i've got some really nice pieces of jewelry that i need to wear but i don't really have a lot of earrings just spilled that earring cleaner everywhere i don't really have a lot of earrings that i wear um, but I want to get more into like nicer, more vibrant earrings. But I love that they're vintage. I share a link to Susan Kaplan's website and you can have a look at other pieces that she's got. But yeah, so that is um, that is my little purchase. We're going to head out now. I think I spent enough time getting ready for actually not really doing much. And my battery is about to die. I definitely need to buy a new battery, especially before we go to Disney World, because I will be filming tons there. Um, but this battery life is not a vibe on this camera at the moment, so I need to get some more. So thank you for watching my Get Ready With Me video today. I hope you enjoyed that little quick mini hair tutorial and catch up with me and some of the skincare and hair care items i will link them all below for you if you want to go and give them a try but don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button it would mean the absolute world to me if you stuck around on my channel i've got some great videos coming your way over the next few weeks some renovation updates and also some travel updates as well so thank you for watching today and i will see you in the next one bye